Welcome to Nokia's 5G Technology Experience Center in Budapest. My name is Daniel Fay and I lead product management for Nokia's cloud management products. And I am Pela Patakfalvi, leading portfolio management for core automation in Nokia Core Networks. In the Nokia Core TV technical video series, we have already demonstrated Nokia's 5G core deployment on public clouds. And we have also explained our AnyCloud approach rooted in the flexible use of Kubernetes. And we have also shown how our CI-CD solution, including Nokia Continuous Delivery product, allows to deliver our Nokia network functions in a fully automated manner from R&D to the live system. In today's episode, we will expand the scene and unveil how we can use our cloud management system to deploy Nokia's 5G core CNFs onto multiple different cloud environments at the same time. Let those be private, public, or hybrid. And we will also show how we connect the dots and apply our CI-CD based solution in such an any cloud environment. Now let's see it in action. We will start our walkthrough with an NCOM instance having Nokia's reference container as a service infrastructure, NCS, already registered. Next, in order to see the power of any cloud, let's add a few additional container as a service infrastructure variants to use with the same NCOM. We'll see the choice of clouds this version of NCOM can use. First, we'll add two private clouds, the Red Hat OpenShift and the VMware Tanzu. For more flexibility, we'll also register two public cloud variants in the central NCOM, an Amazon EKS and a Google GK Kubernetes cluster. In the next few screens, we add all the parameters needed to manage the workload on these clouds. For each cloud instance, we need to associate a Helm repository, which will be used to fetch the Helm charts for deploying the CNFs. For now, we'll use NCD's repository as a centralized store for all cloud instances. We're completing the registration of our CAS instances. NCOM is now retrieving the various details about the clusters to initialize the monitoring functions and to enable the placement automation logic. All done. Now we'll switch over to Nokia's continuous delivery tool, NCD. Here we can see an overview of the entire automation pipeline as a workflow definition. As a first step, we choose which part of the workflow we want to invoke. Then we define the products to deploy on the selected Kubernetes infrastructure, this time a public cloud. And finally, we'll set the path to the repository where the software and the artifacts are stored. The CI-CD pipeline is now under execution for our set of signaling products. In parallel, we start a second pipeline to deploy a user plane function to the previously registered on-premise Kubernetes infrastructure. Both pipelines are now running and executing. The progress is monitored and the status is reported on each workflow step. Starting with the component initialization, then doing the package integrity check, followed by the software deployment or upgrade, and in the final step, the automated test execution. Let's switch back to NCOM. We see that the deployment operations triggered from NCD appear in NCOM's instance view. NCOM now executes all the operations required to bring up the CNFs on the selected Kubernetes infrastructures. All cloud deployment operations are completed but a few CI-CD tasks related to the test execution and evaluations are still to be finalized. So let's switch back to the CI-CD pipeline. Both previously triggered workflows are still running. The view shows the successfully executed steps as well as the omitted ones. Finally, the CI-CD pipeline execution is completed and reports on the successful deployments and test results are available. In this video, we have reviewed how Nokia's CI-CD common automation toolchain, including Nokia Cloud Operations Manager, is able to deploy and manage Nokia's cloud-native 5G core networks on any cloud environment. Providing our customers with all the freedom and flexibility to deploy and orchestrate innovative network services in their cloud infrastructure of choice. Thank you for your attention.